Well, this is just a third scale model of part of the sculpture. And uh, the actual thing is going to be standing even taller than I am. But we wanted to see how it was going to look in the water. So this is the first time that I've seen it in this scenario. It's interesting to see how the light catches it, what the ripples and the reflections do. And we're also going to move the water around the base to see what, what that does as well. Initially the idea came from one of MG's brand values, which is energy. And so I came up with this idea of an energy wave flowing through the garden and that really created this sort of organic shape. And then Guild Sculpture, who were making uh, the piece, they'd already created several very similar things but were made from rings rather than flat washers like this. So we flattened those rings, got the washers, and it's been an evolution ever since. The point about this piece is it's all been handmade by craftsmen. Each piece has been individually laser cut and then hand welded together. The welds are ground down, it's polished. There's an awful lot of work that goes into this. It will all be assembled uh, before it actually arrives at Chelsea. So we'll have seen it, we'll know it's not going to fall over, uh, we'll know how the light's going to fall on it. So all those things will have been ironed out. One of the uh, major elements of the arts and crafts movement was jewellery. So this isn't just about arts and crafts gardens. I wanted this sculpture to feel like a piece of jewellery, so it's very elegant, but you can see it's got a lot of fine workmanship in it. The layout of the garden's quite geometric, sort of the formal Italianate terraces. Uh, the planting, though, to balance that, is very soft and natural. And then this sculpture, of course, is very organic in shape, so it's in contrast, the way it winds and weaves through the garden to all those hard, straight lines. 